Hey guys, what's up? It's Ray. Welcome to this new video. This is the weekend. I have some time, so I decided to make a cave horrors guide. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. If you do, please give the rating a thumbs up. Anything you'd like, please help me get this video out and everything will be fine. Anyway, let's get started with the video. A cave horror has a common level of 80. It has 550 life points and has a slayer requirement of 58. It uses melee and magical based melee attacks, so uh, we should alter our gear between those two. The max hit is around 96, and its weakness is either range or stab, so yeah, there are two main ways to kill these, which is uh, with a ranged weapon, such as a crossbow or a longbow, or a stab weapon, such as a rapier, dragon dagger, stuff like that. Now for the gear and inventory setup, first of all for the gear, make sure you bring a Slayer helmet if you are on a Slayer task. If you're not on a Slayer task, just bring a helmet. No, it is not. Uh, it is fine. Maybe a fire head, whatever you want. Make sure to bring a Witchwood icon. That's the 100% must if you're killing cave horrors. Bring carols if you have it. If you don't have it, if you don't have the money, bring Black Dehyde. But you do have to consider that it gives a negative uh, melee bonus. So uh, carols is, is advised, but if you don't have it, Black Dehyde is fine as well. Um, dragon boots, barrow's gloves, uh, a stab weapon if you have it, a rapier or something, but a whip or a serra sword is also fine. A dragon defender if you have it, if you don't have it, make sure to bring a, a good shield for you, a good shield, either an obby shield or uh, a dragon square shield, something like that. <laughs> uh, as you can see, I put in here in agility cape trimmed, of course you don't need an agility cape. What I meant by that is just um, any of the skill capes trimmed, uh, as long as it gives a um, prayer bonus since you'll need it. Uh, of course you can also bring a fire cape and bring some extra prayer potion. That's totally up to you. You can do whatever you want to. And a burst ring. You can switch out the burst ring with the slayer ring in the inventory. Uh, that's what I did. But if you don't want to, you can just use the burst ring and have the slayer ring in your inventory. Now for the inventory, I bring extremes. If you don't have extremes, make sure to bring super potions. A spec weapon, I bring a dragon dagger. If you have something like dragon class, that's fine as well. And if you need the extra HP, you can bring a enhanced excelibur. Uh, prayer potion, since I will be turmoiling the entire task. If you don't want to be turmoiling, that's fine as well. Uh, if you have kind of a low defense, you might want to pray melee. Um, you're, uh, they will be totally uh, invulnerable, uh, or you will be totally vulnerable by their attacks since they are all melee. No one is uh, magical based melee, but since you are praying melee, it is actually the 100% attack uh, or protection. I bring some sharks just for the emergency, you don't really need it. Um, uh, I also bring a bunny up, which is summoned right now, um, but you know, whatever you want to. If you are kind of a low defense, pure anything like that you can you may bring some extra food if you have a unicorn or something like that but they're not really that hard hitting and you shouldn't have much trouble finding them also bring a bullseye lantern since um, yeah you're going in a cave so uh, make sure to uh, at least have a light if you feel like you can bring a tinder box as well I've never gotten that my light went out so and I have a quick teleport I don't feel like taking a tinder box just the extra inventory place to pick up some extra seeds or anything like that a bone crusher if you have it to bury the the big bones in, uh, immediately and a quick teleport out you don't really need, need the quick teleport out but if you want to you can take it and of course a slayer ring if you haven't uh, equipped that already now how to get there is real simple we're gonna kill them in a Mos Laharmus cave which is of course um, at Mos Laharmus um, once you are at Mos Laharmus, you can get there by a ferry. Um, it's got the, there's a guy named Bill Teach at the Ectofungus place. Don't know the name. I thought it was Poor Plasmatis. I'm not sure. Anyway, you go there uh, from the bank. You walk a little bit north. Uh, you'll see some jungle horrors. You go right down to the beach, and there is a cave entrance. You go into the cave, and I'll show you the spot where I like to kill them. Um, is my favorite spot. You do have to move around a bit, but that's not too bad. I mean, uh, it's pretty much every place. They're kind of spread out, so it doesn't really matter. This is my favorite place. You can kill them anywhere, but this is my favorite place. Now, when you start killing them, first you need to make sure you pot up. Uh, extreme super potion doesn't really matter. If you want to use a defense, you don't really need the, uh, the super or extreme defense, but if you want to take it, that's fine as well. Make sure to charge your turmoil or piety if you have it. If you don't have it, that's fine. Uh, even chivalry is worth it. Um, just everything to make sure your slayer task goes as quick as possible. 
Now, when you start killing them, make sure to unleash your specs at the first minute. Uh, unless, of course, if you uh, you brought the Enhanced Accelerator, then you need to wait uh, before you lost some HP. Now, the reason why you should start killing them is because, first of all, they drop the Black Mask, which is used for the Slayer Helmet. Now, if you are able to kill these Cave Horrors, you probably already have a Slayer Helmet. Uh, the Slayer Helmet boosts your uh, attack and strength by 15%, I believe. Well, the Black Mask does the same thing, even though the Slayer Helmet also has the Nose Pack and stuff like that equipped in it. But they drop these Black Masks. Um, they are quite expensive. Uh, so it is worth to pick up. That's mostly the reason why people camp these things, because they're not really worth it for the charms. I'll show you later on what the charm drop rate is. Um, also, make sure to pick up the seeds. They can drop quite expensive seeds. They even have the the chance of dropping a torso or anything like that. As you can see in this video, I also got a um, dwarf weed, I believe. Um, now, if you start killing them, they are quite easy to kill, so you don't really have to worry about your HP. Uh, they are quite spread out, so you do have to walk quite a bit, so uh, make sure you don't lose any uh, any prayer points you don't really need to lose if you are quite uh, fast killing them. Uh, make sure to turn off your prayer if you have to, if you are um, quite you know, poor, if you uh, don't really have the money to, uh, to buy a lot of uh, prayer potions and stuff like that, so uh, anyway, charms are also really worth picking up. Uh, they also drop effigies. They don't drop them as often because they're only 8 combat, but if you get them, of course, pick it up. FG is always worth it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, if you have any difficulty killing them, you might not uh, not want to do this task. Even though they're only level 80, they are quite accurate and quite hard hitting uh, for their combat level. So, if you're about level 90 or something, I would uh, stay tuned. You know, they could, they could potentially kill you. But if you are 100 plus or anything, they uh, you should have no difficulty killing them. On screen you will see the the charm drop rates. Crimson charm drop the most, 13%. Then the gold charm, 5%. Then the green charm, 2%. And lastly the blue charm, 1%. The chance of getting no charm is 79%. Now as you can see, uh, this task is not really worth getting, uh, worth doing if you're off the charms. But of course, since you have the black mask drop, it's always worth doing this task. So I don't intend you to skip this task. Always do it if you can. Nice Slayer experience and uh, stuff like that. So. Yeah, I hope you guys like this um, this Slayer guide. If you did, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, if you didn't, please let me know in the comments what I did wrong. And uh, I hope you see you in the next video. Bye!